ever had a child, ever loved a child, has surely said those words, or at least thought them. You'll hear us say very often during the crusade that every child is a special child and has a special story. Here's a little girl who is a bit too young to tell her own story, so let me tell you something about her. She was born last July 26, shortly after noon at Louisville's Baptist Hospital. That was the same day the Apollo 15 headed for the moon. The astronauts got off without incident, but this little girl had a somewhat rougher start. She was an RH baby. Her mother has negative type blood. Her father's blood is positive. Now what this means is that the mother can develop a sensitivity to the unborn baby's blood, which often will result in a severe case of anemia for the child. In very extreme cases, it can mean death even before the child is born. Usually the firstborn doesn't experience this problem with parents of this type. This little girl happened to be the second child. And when she was born, the anemia was severe. She came into the world a very sickly looking yellow color. And almost immediately after her birth, the doctor ordered her transferred to Children's Hospital. She was immediately placed in a special ward for newborn infants with special problems. And there in Equipment provided and paid for by the crusade, she underwent treatment. They were hoping that a special phosphorescent light would take care of the jaundice. It will in mild cases, but her case wasn't mild. An exchange transfusion was ordered by nightfall, and again using crusade equipment, the very competent team of doctors and nurses at Children's Hospital performed the transfusion. It was a success. And after a few days of follow-up therapy, her parents, went to the hospital and brought her home. That was a very momentous day. It's, it's very difficult to explain and describe how her parents felt that day they picked her up at the hospital, but it's not hard to remember how they felt because this is my little girl. Her mother and I waited for her for 17 years. And as you can see tonight, she's the picture of health. Thanks in large part to your contributions. Carrie Dale Martin Krim is way past her bedtime, and I'm sure Dr. Ogden wouldn't approve of us having her here this late. But she's brought a lot of happiness into our life and for her big brother, Albert. And we owe so much to you, the very generous people of this community, whose contributions to the crusade throughout the years, well, maybe spell the difference between her life and her not being here. Krim family thanks all of you, and we wish God to bless all of our children, all of our very special children. Them that's got sugar, them that's not shallow. So the Bible says, and it's. 
Mama made. 